welcome to our third global learning video diary. In today's workshop, we focused on the idea that global issues are typically about the relationship between poorer and richer countries. We introduce key terms like human development, the global south, as well as the idea of low and middle income countries. We then focused our children towards the significance of Africa through exploring different maps, starting with the Mercator projection, then moving on to the Equal Earth map projection. Next, we looked at maps that blow up or shrink a country's size according to some metric which the students had to guess, such as GDP or the absolute poverty rate. The students were really engaged by the visuals here, so I'd certainly recommend this type of activity. Then students got to flex their geography knowledge, sorting countries into those that they thought were the most or least developed. The main activity was a sliding scale on which students placed cutout boxes of examples of particular issues. They had to decide if the examples counted as a local issue or a global issue or somewhere in between. Bearing in mind our definition of a global issue here is one that impacts on developing countries. This prompted lots of class debate, especially around the examples that lay somewhere in the middle. This is going to be our final session before the outward journey to Ghana for the Zero Hunger Project, so I guess I will see you then. Mm -hmm.